Our Chelsea pre-match show comes to you from our studio overlooking the pitch here at Villa Park, looking immaculate as always. And the scene of a quite brilliant Fabian Delph inspired win over Mourinho's men last season. We've had some good moments at Stamford Bridge over the years too, some of which we'll recall on this week's programme. Let's hope for a few more on Saturday. Look out also for an interview with midfielder and past master Ashley Westwood. This has to be just about the toughest test in the Premier League at the moment. Chelsea, top of the table, froggy and packed with world-class talent. Yeah, I mean, Jose's had a season already with Chelsea. He's, he's built, he's, he's brought all the players that he wants this year. All the jigsaw pieces are now in place. This team are that good that they will challenge for the Premier League title and I think possibly for the Champions League as well, especially with the manager in charge. He knows how to, he's a winner. He just knows how to win. And with the key players he's, he's brought in, Fabregas and Costa this year, bringing Courtois back into the side as well, that they're a really, really tough proposition for us this weekend. Yeah, he's gone from the special one to the happy one, the lucky one actually, against Villa at Stamford Bridge last season. And he's been the miserable one at Villa Park. So, but he is, you know, he's got all the credentials, hasn't he? Well, yes, he's, he's a double Champions League winner. You know, he's won the Premier League title with Chelsea before. He, he knows it. He knows that actually now, if he, if he can win the Champions League with Chelsea, it takes him almost into a league of his own, doesn't it? Um, he, he just knows how to get the best of players. His psychology and his degree of psychology that he gained and all the experience of working with Bobby Robson over the years when he was at Barcelona. He's just become a, a really, really top manager and he's, got, he's just got something special about him, which is obviously why everyone calls him the special one. Mm. Tactically, he's a genius, Jack. Uh, all the big games, every time there's a massive game, he gets it right. You know, against Manchester City, Champions League games against the Barcelona's of this world, he knows how to push people's buttons, but he knows how to get results for his side. I do think Villa are a team he does respect above a lot of other sides just because of the record that he's had against them over the years but those three players that we're going to focus on in the programme Costa, Fabregas and Hazard what is it about them that impresses you? I think it's the fact that they've come and they've hit the ground running straight away we see a lot of foreign players who come over over the years that they struggle initially to, to get into the Premier League but you know he just can't stop scoring and with half an hamstring left he's, he, <laughs> I dread to think how many goals he'll score once he's fully fit but the, 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 the link-up between him and Fabregas has been a sight to behold. The two of them in tandem have been absolutely brilliant at the start of this season. Uh, uh, with all the, the other experienced Chelsea players, they're going to score, score a lot of goals in the Premier League this season, particularly at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, Costa and Fabregas and the third uh, of the trio, Eden Hazard. What a player he is. He can make things happen. He's such a threat. Yeah, I mean, Eden Hazard, you know... He's growing in the Premier League now. He's 23 years of age. He's going to be one of the one of the greats by the time Jose's finished with him. And I think Jose will mould him into the play he wants him to be, the hard-working talent you know that he wants him to become. Um, but when you're targeting players before a game, who do you mark? It's like which one do we mark? <laughs> you know, you can't make special provisions for any one player because there's so many of them. You just have to defend as a unit, work hard as a unit. I think. I think. If you look at all our midfield and the defence, they're all going to have to work their socks off. And the boys up front, they're going to have to defend from the front to stop them getting the ball into, into the, the quality and the players that they've got. So whether that means I mean, two, two solid banks to cut the space out, not to allow Fabregas and whoever else is playing in those areas to, to keep them out, yeah. out. Funny how things work out. Fabregas is a lonely youngster at Arsenal, befriended, won Philippe Senderos. Fellow Spanish speaker, they struck up a rapport, and Senderos is going to be a, a key man for Villa again, isn't he? He wants to evoke the, the spirit of Anfield and, and lead the lads to another win. Well, he has, Philippe. Has, I think he surprised everybody, Jack, with how good a start he's made to his career at Villa Park. He's been, I mean, he's been outstanding, he really has been outstanding. There were question marks from all quarters about him, you know, after his performances for Fulham last year, mm. and he struggled a wee bit in the World Cup as well, but he's just been simply sensational. You know, obviously, a man with a point to prove. He wants to prove that he is a, a top player in the Premier League. And he's, he's, whatever partnership he's formed, he's done well. Yeah. His partnership with Nathan Baker at Anfield was just mm. brilliant. Um, so he, he'll be looking to continue his good work. Uh, and they will be having to do lots of hard work. I think they'll be working overtime to try and shut this operation down at the weekend, Jack. Thanks very much indeed, Froggy. Last gasp equalisers in 4-4 and 3-3 draws. New Year's Eve glory in 2011. Can the current crop achieve more success at Chelsea? Join us for more on ABTV.